We told you that we would keep you up to date on our Thousand Trails adventures. Yep. And so now we're six months into it. Mm -hmm. And we're following through with our promise to let you know how we like it, how it's working out for us, how much money we're saving, all that good stuff. Yeah. So we have had our membership now for about six months. Mm -hmm. We bought a pre-owned membership. Yeah. And we did that because uh, it's less expensive. Yeah. Um, the only downfall is you have to pay for it all up front as opposed to financing it if you mm -hmm. go directly through Thousand Trails. But the money savings for us, you know, we had the money, so we figured we'd go ahead and buy the pre-owned package. Yeah. We bought our pre-owned membership through Campground Membership Outlet, and uh, we'll leave a link in the description below if you want to go check that out. We talked to Kimberly, and she walked us through the whole process. Yeah. We she's got, a rock star. She's awesome. So we had, she's on it. Before we started this whole, whole process, we knew nothing about Thousand Trails other than what we had seen on YouTube. Yeah. But she really broke it down and helped us understand it better than we could be able to explain it to you. <laughs> exactly. Call Kimberly, she'll hook you up. Um, but we got the Elite Basic Package, which uh, basically allows us into any of the Thousand Trails parks uh, for up to three weeks. Mm -hmm. We can go park to park, we don't have to get out. Nope. And um, you know, you do have that annual, annual dues yes. at the end of every year. So our Elite Basic pre-owned package that we bought costed us $4,300. Yeah. Um, which they, they vary on, from the, the pre-owned. Yeah, it depends how old your package that you're selecting is will determine and what comes in that particular package. Exactly, because you're buying a, a package from someone who had, who had previously either purchased it pre-owned or purchased it from Thousand Trails, and Thousand Trails changes the rules, the requirements, and all of the, 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 the things that they offer from package to package yeah. from year to year. So there is not one set no. thing, you know, so everyone's going to be a little yeah. bit different. <laughs> um, so basically that lets us get into 80, 80 or so campgrounds all around the United mm -hmm. States. Um, we also purchased the trails collection for two ninety nine. Yeah. And, and that, that price may change, go up or down or whatever, yeah. depending on what thousand trails does, but we purchased it for around $300 and that basically adds, uh, about a hundred more campgrounds yep. that we can stay at for free and we can stay at those for up to two weeks mm -hmm. and those are also free they don't cost us anything um, and we can go from there into a thousand trails back into a trails collection but you can't go from trails collection to trails collection correct it's all complicated <laughs> talk to kimberly <laughs> Um, so we had the, the, the membership for 4300 the Trails Collection for 300 and then we had RPI. RPI yeah. is Resort Parks International, which is another add-on to Thousand Trails. And because all of the Trails Collection and Thousand Trails campgrounds are pretty much coastal, yeah. RPI kind of fills the gaps. It gives you a little hope in the <laughs> inner part of the country. <laughs> yeah, and for our RPI add-on, we paid $125 yeah. for the year. That adds another 100 plus campgrounds, um, but there is a small fee associated with RPI. Very small. Yeah, so you pay your $125 and then the parks, Depending each where park, they are. yeah, each park has a different negotiated price with Thousand Trails on how much they're going to charge yeah. their members to stay in those parks. So depending on which RPI property you stay at, it'll mm -hmm. be a different price. So for us, with the Thousand Trails, the Trails Collection, the RPI, and our annual dues, which you pay as soon as the processing is complete. Our total investment is five thousand three hundred dollars, mm -hmm. which sounds like a lot. But wait until we get to the good stuff, because <laughs> we've only been in this for six months. Yeah. And so we'll break it down for you. Um, we have stayed at six thousand trails parks that are just thousand trails mm -hmm. uh, for a total of eleven weeks. And mm -hmm. so based on the average weekly stay, which is about $225 per week nationwide. So that's what we based it off of, our yeah, savings. when we initially set yeah. out. So what we would have spent outside of Thousand Trails Parks for those 11 weeks was about $2,475 yeah. that we saved. Mm -hmm. Trails Collection, we stayed at three parks for a total of five weeks. So the savings on that was $1,125. Mm -hmm. And then RPI, we stayed at two parks for two weeks, one week each, and yep. we only saved $285 because one of those parks charged us $92 for the week, and one of those parks charged us $73 yep. for the week. 
So we didn't save the whole 225 on each one of those. So yeah. combined for those two weeks, we saved 285. So total all together, we've stayed at 11 parks for 18 weeks mm -hmm. over those six months and saved $3,885. It's a lot. It is a lot. Now, had we stayed at just Thousand Trails or, or Collections or RPI exclusively, we could have already made our money back. Yeah. But we're just using this as to, to you know to offset as because we, we're gonna go where we want to go if yeah. there happens to be a thousand trails cool yeah if there happens to be a collection cool if there happens to be rpi awesome yeah if not we'll try to stay at military, military or we'll try to stay at a state park corps of engineers and last resort is always a privately Private. owned campground yeah. but um so if you take our total investment of five thousand three hundred dollars and take away uh, what we have saved so far, $3,885. The remainder is $1,415 that we have mm -hmm. not recouped yet. And we're only six months into this deal. Yeah. So that's not terrible at all. No. Now, one of the downfalls is that even with RPIs, there's a, there's big gaps in the country. There are. So we yeah. just hit our six, mo six month mark, but we're headed north and west. <laughs> And there's nothing. Nothing. There's no thousand trails, <laughs> no trails collection, no RPI to be found anywhere. We're gonna stay at some military. And we stuff. are hitting a lot of military places. Yeah. So for us, it's gonna take us a little longer to break even than I think it would for most people. Yeah. Um, so if you do the math at that, what we still have left to, to break even, the one thousand four hundred fifteen dollars, mm -hmm. if you if you divide that by the average stay of $225 a week, it's gonna take us about six more weeks of staying in, in Thousand Trails or Trails Collection Parks to break even. Mm -hmm. A little bit longer if you're staying at an RPI to break even, Yeah. but seven weeks and we will be completely broke even. Now for us, it's gonna take a little longer because we're not gonna hit in our Thousand Trails until we get out west, Yeah. like Washington, Washington. State, and yeah. then we're gonna start heading down the west coast. So probably at about the one year mark of owning the membership is when we're gonna break we even. Will. Yeah. And that's just because we're gonna have like a three and a half, four month gap of not using it at all. So um, I think it's worth it. I think so. I mean, once we break even, then it's all just free camping. That's right. Now, Thousand Trails, Trails Collection, RPI, they all have their pros and cons. We've done some reviews of some of the, mm -hmm. the campgrounds and we'll leave links down in the description to, to those videos um, so that you can go and check those out. Um, as a Thousand Trails member, because these parks have paying customers yeah. who pay the regular rate. The re yes, the normal fee. Um, you don't get the prime spots. No. You know, now regular Thousand Trails, you get first come, first serve. Yeah. Whichever one you get, luck of the draw, cool. But when yeah. you're talking about Trails Collection and RPI, they have designated areas where the Thousand Trails members stay. Yeah. You know, like five or six spots. And they're not the greatest spots. They're not terrible. But they're I, free. I wouldn't say they're they're terrible spots No, they're not either. terrible. They're just not your first choice spot. Yeah, and the I'd say I'd say my biggest con <laughs> about yeah. Thousand Trails and Trails Collection and RPI is they're all back, back in spots. <laughs> Some people prefer back ends. <laughs> we just happen to not be some of those people. <laughs> but hey, I'm getting a lot of practice at back ends. You are in. getting practice. <laughs> if anything, those collections are giving us backup practice. Yeah. Now, I'll say that if you are a full-time RVer, Thousand Trails definitely worth it. Heck yeah. You're gonna you're gonna pay yourself back, even if you go straight through Thousand Trails. And, you know, if you don't have the money just to, to purchase. Yeah, if you buy a new one and finance yeah. it. Yeah, it's still worth still it. Still worth it. Absolutely. It's going to take you a little longer to pay it off. Yeah. yeah. But once you pay it off, then you're good. And you can you can make monthly payments. So basically you're paying, you know, 50, 60 bucks a month for your membership, which is way less than you would pay a month if you were just traveling around, so, staying at regular uh, yeah. campgrounds. So definitely worth it. Absolutely. And then once you break even, then it's all all cake from there yeah yeah um so what's been your your favorite thousand trail so far Ooh, my favorite thousand trails and yeah, we've only stayed like at ones in florida and texas texas yeah yeah we've stayed at um some rpis along the way 
we stay in an RPI in Louisiana and, and an RPI in Mississippi, but yeah. as far as Thousand Trails goes, Florida and Texas only, but what's your favorite? I might go out on a limb here and say, whew, Lake Conroe might be, and I don't know if it's because we, we got to see a lot of people while we yeah. were at Lake Conroe, and that's what made it a more enjoyable stay. Yeah. Well, but the scenery is nice. Yes. The spot was nice. Um, we did have a dirty, I'm not dirty as in like trashy it was dirty, dirt, but mostly dirt. We didn't have enough gravel, I didn't think, yeah. in that spot. But other than that, we sat at a great spot with a view. Scout loved it. And we met a ton of people there. We did. I would I would say Lake Conroe also, and it's it's close between Lake Conroe and Thousand and Trails Orlando. Orlando, yes. Um, the only reason I would go with Conroe over Orlando is just the internet was way What's, better at Lake Conroe <laughs> than it was at Orlando. Yeah, because we did meet a ton of people in Orlando too, which yeah. made it fun. And it's yeah. a large park, but yeah, I think it was more naturey in Conroe. It was, yeah. You. you you got the lake and there was more wildlife because Orlando's in the center of Claremont really mm -hmm. so yeah you got your squirrels and birds but I mean yeah to feel like you're kind of out in nature Conroe fits that yeah so um leave us a comment let us know if you have stayed at Thousand Trails what you think about it um which one was your favorite so far and also, if you have any questions that we haven't answered, there's a ton of information about Thousand Trails. Yeah. If you have a question, leave us a question in the comments below. We'd be happy to answer it or try to answer it. Mm -hmm. um, if you are going to purchase your, your pre-owned membership, make sure you give uh, Kimberly over at Campground Membership yeah. Outlets a call. She'll answer all the questions that you need. We'll leave a link uh, to that in the description also. And um, I think that's it for a Thousand Trails update. Yeah. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll come back in six more months at the year mark, and we'll let you know where we're at. I am predicting that we'll be broke even by a year. Yeah, I think so. We I think that's accurate. Yeah, but we'll let you know. So until then, we're going to go for mm -hmm. now. Uh, <laughs> like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're going to honor a fallen hero. Mm -hmm. If you want to learn all the ways that you can help us help veterans, everything you need to know is in the description of this video. We appreciate you watching, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.